Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got there, Steve. Cool box. Cool box. Beers. Beers. Good man. All right, mud lovers, here we are. We're about to get on a boat and do some magnificent today. Can't wait for this. This is a, such a random little uh, journey, expedition, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, we've got all my magnets here. These are supplied by Wutong Magnets. Uh, so if you want any good magnets, I recommend using this company. They make absolutely amazing magnets. Uh, so yeah, check them out. Oh yeah, look, we're just walking on these old bottles. This is great. Yeah, let's get, get a picture of the boat we're going out on today. Yeah, that... <laughs> ship shape in Bristol fashion. <laughs> the captain assures us. <laughs> is this the way, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> Steve, do you want me to take that? I see you cleaned your life jacket, Steve. <laughs> Wonder who did that. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, here we are at Strood. <laughs> so, this is Rob, everyone. He's been out this morning on his hovercraft with the hovercraft history hunters, and uh, today we're expanding our search in the form of <laughs> magnet fishing. And uh, Skipper here, Rob, is going to take us around the midway and see if we can find any luck in the river muck. Trip down around the Rochester Castle, nice. shorelines, around the old sub, down Ooh. to Upna. From Upna we'll see if the wind's picked up by then and go out a bit further just along the foreshore. Lucky dipping. Excellent. Can't wait. Let's see if we can get some luck. Luck in the muck. That's it. <laughs> All aboard. Night try. Thank you. Well, bed again for the British Hovercraft Company, rep representing. Uh, so, how do you feel being uh, not on a hovercraft today? Nervous. <laughs> well, you've got your level two speed boat awareness. Level two that. power boat, get the oh. terminology right, sir. <laughs> level two power boat, don't mean I can drive one, it just means I know how to. <laughs> there we go. Don't mean so I can do it. <laughs> maybe old uh, Captain Benny will take the reins at some point. I'm sure we'll have a go. And uh, there's Rob just telling us uh, all the safety features and what we should do. So let's have a look at this boat quickly. There she is. Gets about 10 people on, I think. Hopefully we'll get a bit of uh, luck with the old magnet fishing. We've got a uh, bit strewed, and that's uh, Rochester's castle over there. Not sure if we'll um, be stopping outside there or not, but we'll go wherever we feel like, I think, and uh, see where the wind takes us. So here I am on top of the boat, ready to take off. And I want to show you a really cool thing called a uh, Ray Marine. And uh, there's a thing that can show us what the bottom looks like. Come check it out. Yeah, this is the cool bit of kit. Chart, fish finder, radar, all that stuff. So we can chart, we can see where we are, we can zoom in. How cool is that? And also, so fish finder, obviously that's designed for finding fish, but we can also see the bottom. That's all the mud there, all that glorious mud. Maybe if there's an actual wreck or something, we can find that as well. So we can go on sonar, look at that. Oh, temperature's 20 degrees. It's quite warm. We might go for a dip. Although the current is very strong, so I don't advise that. Ahoy there! Ahoy sailor! Arr! Why pirates, pirates? Because they are! Oh, all the bad jokes come out today. <laughs> <laughs> So what we're going to do is just go in along the old wall. Okay. I'm going to put my nose in so you're better off up the front of the magnet. Okay. The props are yep. level with these railing sort of things that don't put too much line out so they can get sucked up. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. We'll only be in 10 foot of water, 5 foot. Oh, okay, cool. I'll put the nose in, we'll probably come down to 5 in there. Alright, I'll, I'll get the magnets tied up then. The shop. Here we are, magnet 
Station. Watch this castle it's just over there. Look at that old river wall. Yeah, if you need, you never know. Uh, just Might be shopping trolleys. Step on the house. Have you got anything? Nope. Oh, there's a trolley over there. Oh, I've got half a screw. Let me get a full one. First. <laughs> There, it's quite shallow. Right, the wind's just getting us now, so it's going to turn to your left pretty, pretty soon. How are you doing, Ben? Do you feel anything? You don't anyway, because the water makes the magnet a lot lighter. So. Yeah. You don't know, so you bring it in, so you might, but you can pick more than one thing up at once, so you might as well just keeping it out there and doing that. Pull it and let it fall back on the seabed. What you got? Don't know. Is it a coin or anything? You'd be surprised. Mm. Have a look. <laughs> but even if it was, it ain't worth anything that good, is it? It's a massive metal fish! <laughs> Wait, do you feel something? <laughs> Damn. Damn. We're on the other side. I can't believe I've got nothing. <laughs> is that a bit of metal? Go that way, go that way. That way. That way, that way, that way. A bit of rebar sticking up. Oh no, we could get it out. Yeah. Hang on, see if Steve can attach it. Go on, Steve. One job. Exciting. Right in the channel, therefore, wait, sweep through on the side. Yeah, is that something sticking out of the water? Okay. Okay. It looks like a rebar sticking straight up. What's a rebar? Where's it gone? It's there. You did have them all living down here. Oh yeah, I see it there. What's a rebar, Dad? That's a stick, a stick oh, Steve. It's a stick. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was moving. <laughs> yeah, it's a stick, and Steve no, wonders why it won't stick to his magnet. <laughs> Hope you got that on video. Yeah, I did. <laughs> that is really cool. This impressive, imposing submarine is a Russian U-475 Black Widow. It was built in 1966 during the Cold War. It's privately owned and in a bit of a dilapidated but stable condition. It served for 27 years and it was decommissioned in 1994. The submarine arrived in London in 94 under the command of his captain, Vitalij Berda, who had commanded the ship for the previous 23 years. It was his second home. It was a museum in the Thames until 1998 when it was moved to Folkestone until 2004 and then it was moved again to the River Medway here in Rochester. Unfortunately, the submarine is listing to one side because of a hole. Hopefully it will be fixed and one day open to the public as a museum once again. The submarine features heavily in the 2014 film Black Sea featuring Jude Law. And nearly all of this action movie was filmed inside this submarine. Everything you see there is original. Funnily enough, the film is about locating a cache of gold in another wrecked submarine. We had to find a film set with a treasure hunting connection, didn't we? So now Steve wants to be the first person to magnet fish a submarine. Will you manage it? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, you missed. My good luck, Josh, you have one shot. <laughs> <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Hey! <laughs> Steve! What? I've got to say, Steve. What you got, mate? I've got to say, I'm going to need a hand. <laughs> oh my god, Steve, you got a submarine, mate! <laughs> hey! Oh, you lost it. Oh, now that's magnet fishing. <laughs> that's extreme magnet fishing. Well, there you go. First one. Little magnet, I can actually don't
This brutalist looking floating hotel was originally built for the Dutch Navy as a way of providing transportable accommodation. It mysteriously turned up in the Midway in 2014 where it's basically been left to rot while trying to be sold. Allegedly, the owner went bankrupt and now ownership is with the bank who are paying the necessary fees until it's decided what will happen with it. There are rumours it was going to be used as a modern day prison hulk to ease pressure on the overcrowded prisons or even to house immigrants that are seeking asylum but as yet it remains derelict. Oh, it's, what's yeah. it Steve? Say again. It's, um, yeah, he's right, it's a clip from a pipe. Okay, well it's the first, probably half decent farm we've had. Yeah. Apart from the submarine. Oh, yeah. It's very rusty around here. It is rusty. Is it rusty? Rusty and smelly. Wow. We've got all the ropes in at the moment, they're intrepid fishermen. Wait, what have you got? Fishing line. Uh, Pull it, yeah. you might have a fishing rod there. <laughs> yeah, keep going, Jess. Yeah, you can get this online. Oh, there it goes. I hope there's a fish on it. <laughs> Where's that coming from? Let's go right out that way. Let's see if we can get it in. Jess has got a sock. Is there still more line on it though? Or is that the end of the thing? That's thingy? the end of the thing, mate. Oh yeah, that's the end of that. Oh, I've got a coin! There's a medley now. Coinage! You have got a coin. I've got a... Show! Coinage. Oh. I've got a coin. Here we have a coin. God, it's stuck on there fast. Modern modern coin. Yeah, when you have Year 2000. Just as magnet fish the muscle. Oh, there's another one on the go. She's magnet Sonic fish several muscles. And... I got the magic perch. So this is Chatham Dockyard. Thought we'd try a bit around here. Do you want to go down and try the other side? My turks. There we go, so Simon's caught something. Simon, let's go and have a look. It's round. It's all heel. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Flywheel. It is a flywheel, isn't it? It's pretty fly. <laughs> what was that? Oi, oi, oi. There we go, look. It's a nice, actually, it looks like a. Is it flywheel for what? Car engine. Is it? Yeah. Anybody That's want a, a clutch, isn't it? What was it? I thought it was a yeah, brake disc. Essential fusion clutch. If they're clutching now, look, it's in place. Ah, right. So it's not, it's a clutch, it's, like, it's like not a flywheel. It's a flywheel, but like of a. Donkey engine or something, you know, like yeah. um, like a generator, yeah, like Lister or something. There we go, see, it works. <laughs> You're doubting me. <laughs> There's all our intrepid fishermen and fishing ladies. <laughs> That's mine. Now, Simon, so mean, now look, there's a big debris field again. Oh, look at that on the bottom. What's that? So right over there is Upnall Castle. This is pretty cool. Medieval castle. And we're magnificent. Right outside of it. So you never know. Might pull up an arrowhead or more. <laughs> or maybe nothing. <laughs> What's this darn it for? Well, can you see shit, mate? Well, I see shit!
looks like you can hear me, but there's some... Uh... I start today. Pull towards. Bob. Pull the yeah. and pull yourself around. Move the engine away from the boat. That's it, Bob. Pull it. Make the pull. I'll oh, use the bend of the engine, yeah? That's it, yeah. Keep going, that's it. Keep going again. That's right. Keep yourself around the back. Pull tight so you're not going to get That's it. Tug it out, someone. Yeah, she's on. 
Yeah, we're going. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, I'll go on. Can we pull them fenders back up, Rob? Yes, please. Well, that's exciting, isn't it, Steve? It's changed, isn't it? Captain Rob up there. Captain Rob. Stranded on Hoo Island, yeah? It looks that way. Cool. It's well. a mile into black with red parts. We're trying to contact them on the radio. Only be towed very slow, can't they? They can't be towed, but if he don't know what he's doing and we can get him off, I can get off. Even if you bring him on that cleat, the side of, see the cleat, right in front Really, he needs to be at the back. Go to the back, go to the back, go to the back. Get ready with some fenders and all. It looks like Mark, but I can't be. Come to you, you 
then I'm in four foot, I've got a foot to spare. Yeah, both dead rods. That uh, really helps when you get that guy out of the way. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. Right, catch! Catch! Oh! Oh! What are you doing? Cut this one back. Let me laugh! How you doing, alright? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah? Where'd you get that? It's not a mechanical problem here. Yeah? <laughs> We'll be able to get you somewhere, but listen, these don't like being towed, so ideally no. that needs to be sidewards against this beach, all right? Okay, boy. So if you can get a sidewards against here, we'll get a cleat on the front, cleat on the back, and we'll get you to where you need to be. Could be a laggy day, could oh, I'll say. Good man, good man, give me that, Rose. Good man, thank you. Right, right, we need you side on. Right, now if you want to get out, Bob, yep. that's the way to go, get out. Oh, getting too old. <laughs> right. Jump out, buddy. Make sure you hold on, Bob. Right, Steve. Yeah. Make sure you hold on. Tell me how I'm gonna do it, then. Right, and you need to jump out of the way quickly, buddy. You sure? Yeah, jump out of the way, mate. Come on, if you like. Go the other way around, Steve. That's it. Where's Steve South this morning? He had no idea he'd be an overcraft by the end of the day. See if you can keep pumping it. Let's get a rope on it. Let's get a rope on it. Oh, now it's raining for good measure. You can put two lines on that front on each cleat if you want. That's all right, let's hold it. It's all right, it's soaking wet. Let's start moving. Yeah, we'll start moving. We are saying that that's going to go down. Yeah, right, we're on. Yeah. Right, I've, never seen, I've never seen a whole crop in tow before, so this is a new one for me. It's a sad sight, no one wants to see that, do they? Try and take it back, nice and slowly. Oh, no, no. Oh.
Hopefully she'll make it. There you go. She's in. Well, what a day. We started off magnificent. That being a rescue boat for two stricken craft. One small little yacht. Back safe on land. Good news. See that, Mark? Yeah, yeah, mate. Be safe. Be safe. <laughs> so normally we're saving history, but today we're saving lives. That's saving all of us. Everyone's safe. That's what counts. That's it. Everyone's home safely. Obviously we're heroes. <laughs> never leave. Never leave a hovercraft behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make you right there. We never leave a hovercraft behind. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Like and subscribe <laughs> to the hovercraft history life-saving hunters. <laughs>